Shook it up. Good afternoon, guys. Today is Friday. It is the 21st of December. There's only four days until Christmas. Four days. The countdown is on. Today I went to the gym, I trained gluten hamstrings and it was a very good workout. I'm gonna include the footage of that workout coming up soon. I've just recorded a physique update. I hope you enjoy the video. I'm gonna just take you through what I have in store for Christmas, what my plans are for the new year. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. So we are in the garage. The garage is where we keep all the junk. It's also where I keep my Christmas stash because can't be trusted with having, for example, snowballs, wagon wheels, pitta chips. I've gone all out guys because Christmas comes once a year. Me and Lex relax on our diet for two days over Christmas and then we get back to it. And that's what everyone should do. It's two days. Take a break from the gym, enjoy some food, enjoy time with your friends, your family, because after Christmas, you can work it all off. You can just get back to it. It's not, you might be up a couple of pounds. It's probably just water weight because you've ate a load of crap. But it makes us feel good. It's good to enjoy this time of year because it kind of gives you that boost that you need to kind of reset yourself and get back to it in the new year or even before the new year. You've got those resolutions coming up. So don't stress about enjoying food and enjoying the friends and family. This is our spare fridge freezer because we do get a lot of food from Muscle Food. They are amazing. They provide me with all my gains. So I've got healthy food as well as other food. I love these chicken fillets. And then they've supplied us with Christmas. Yes, that's where I got all my Christmas food. If you've missed out on it this year, they always do amazing hampers and it's really affordable. It's delivered to your door. No stress, no fuss. What more do you want? So thank you Muscle Food for looking after me during the year and looking after us over Christmas. I've also got pigs and blankets. Yes. So this year Lex is mum, Lex's sister, Lex's best friend Mark are all coming to us for Christmas. I am the chef and I want to make everyone happy. Lex's mum and sister are now pescatarian. So for them, I ordered them a fillet of salmon for Christmas day. For me, Mark and Lex, we've got 
a crown of turkey. There's no point in having a huge big turkey for three people. So we've got a, a turkey crown. It's sufficient. You don't want to be going crazy, cooking way too much food that's just going to go in the bin. I'm also, I'm also going to be cooking up my special recipe of my baked ham. My baked ham takes two days, so I will be starting that on Sunday. We've got also a freezer full of food because you want to keep things fresh. So I've got some smoked salmon for breakfast because I like to have a special Christmas breakfast for me and Lex that we enjoy before the guests arrive. We also have these gluten-free fit rolls. I don't know what they're going to taste like, but again, muscle food helping me out there. And we've got also regular chicken. And this is one thing that I'm definitely looking forward to. It's called a cheese bomb. It's brie cheese covered in bacon that you just pop in the oven and then I'm just gonna like dip bread in it, make it delicious, might be one of the starters. I've also got vegan and vegetarian options for any guests that are coming over Boxing Day and I'm looking after everyone because that's what I do. I like to feed people, I like to make people happy. We've also got alcohol because over Christmas we're gonna have drinks, we're gonna make cocktails, we're gonna drink wine because we're enjoying ourselves. As I said, two days you can get back to it in the new year. And for me, for the new year, I've already started, you know that I've had a tough couple of weeks and I've set myself new kind of goals to keep myself distracted and keep myself happy and entertained and fulfilled. So I've been going to the rural space in Shrewsbury, which is just an amazing space for women and men to go and do Pilates and yoga. And they're just gonna be introducing so many more classes in the new year. So more opportunities for me to go there. I go there most more mornings and then go and do my training. So for the new year I'm going to be continuing on with that and hopefully build up my strength again with my Pilates and yoga, build up my flexibility and it's just something new to have set as my goal. I'm also going to be working with a few new companies in the new year which I am super excited about. One of them being Grenade. I am super excited to be starting to work with them in a partnership in the new year and you'll be seeing some exciting recipes that I'm doing for them and other stuff like that. I just want to take this opportunity now to thank all you guys for your support over the last few months. We've had a tough ride. Me and Lex are getting through it together and we are just looking forward to the future and being happy. All we can do is move on and not dwell on the past and what has happened and just put positivity into every day and set goals and just smash them. If you've had a tough 2018, 2019 can be your year to change that. I've sat and I've been miserable, alone and upset and here I am now standing in my garage in the cold showing you food because I want to share my life and what I do and my passions with you guys and bring you along on my journey. So I just want to wish you all a very happy Christmas and an amazing new year. Damn that's me, Saffron Sea, while I'm wet up for a slim and a 